Hamilton Mayor Fred Eisenberger joins us this morning, fresh off of getting his first COVID-19 shot yesterday. Congratulations. Thank you. It was uh, very, very quick and smooth and efficient. And I thank all of our great uh, public health teams for doing such a great job. So you got yours at First Ontario Centre? I did, yeah. And you got the Pfizer shot. How, how is your arm this morning? How are you feeling? Uh, everything's fine. Uh, just, uh, just a little tenderness at the, uh, the actual injection site. But other than that, I uh, feel great. Mm -hmm. And we want to let viewers know as well, you went through the regular provincial portals uh, to, to book your vaccine. Your wife got vaccinated as well at a different different location. Yeah, she went to the uh, Wellington Street location. And, uh, you know, we both, she booked, uh, booked, booked us both online and uh, didn't have any problems doing that. Hopefully, the booking systems in all of our areas are, uh, are working effectively. But uh, we still do encourage people to maintain some patience when they're doing that because there's huge volumes of people logging on when especially when we can open up another category as we have in the last uh, few days mm -hmm. I, I see that more hamilton um, pharmacies especially in the lower city are now added to the uh the province's 55 plus of, uh shot list for the um for the astrazeneca shot yeah thankfully and uh, you know what it's uh, it's it was an oversight on, on on the part of the province to to not include uh, lower city locations and that's been rectified. Uh, I think they approved some 700 uh, pharmacy locations throughout the province. <clears throat> and that certainly, uh, I think the plan for Hamilton was about 69 pharmacies in total would be uh, identified as places where people could get their vaccine. So it's, it's AstraZeneca. It is for those uh, uh, 55 and older. And, uh, and again, by appointment only. So you need to get a hold of the, uh, the pharmacy or they, they get a hold of you. And uh, you can book your AstraZeneca vaccination there. Mm -hmm. We had a story this morning that uh, Hamilton is planning to provide an update on vaccines uh, later today. Anything, any hints you can give us on that? Uh, I don't have any um, amazing hints at the moment. Uh, I do know that uh, there's some talk about uh, the province potentially uh, focusing in on education and uh, essential workers in this next phase. So uh, we'll wait to see what the province has to say about that. Again, again, it's the provincial protocols that we follow. So we're uh, we're anticipating possibly a change today. We'll see, and if it does happen, uh, we'll certainly notify folks at our three o'clock uh, media advisory this afternoon. Okay, I understand that the uh, provincial education minister is going to be joining the premier at a news conference just before that. So that's probably mm -hmm. what it is. Yes, um, want to talk as well about the field hospital that's going in at uh, next to the general. Um, this is for kind of provincial overflow. It is, uh, but uh, you know, obviously dealing with uh, capacity issues right here in Hamilton. So we we have been in the habit of receiving patients from other areas, as we always have done because we are a regional health center. But uh, the, the COVID obviously puts a, a lot of pressure on our, our, our healthcare system. So we're at about 96% capacity. And I think anticipated that uh, today or tomorrow we'll be at 100%, which means that they need to find additional beds. And uh, doing that in a location, uh, you know, very close to the hospital uh, is very helpful, especially now that the weather is, uh, has improved, that uh, certainly is possible. So they need expansion space. And uh, they've already been directed to uh, to stop any elective surgeries going forward so that um, any additional ICU space can be taken up by COVID patients. Because Hamilton had, um, I, I don't know if it was a record or not, but 277 new cases over the weekend, over Saturday and Sunday. Is is that a record? Or are we, we're, we're certainly, the cases are certainly climbing. Yeah, the cases are climbing, uh, not not a record provincially or either locally, uh, but it's a it's a two day count. Uh, so if you break that down, it's uh, you know 130 per per day. Uh, that's a, that's a high number, of course, and that certainly justifies the uh, the uh, added lockdown that we're uh, experiencing now. And the reality is that we're uh, we're seeing that uh, 60 or 50 or 60 percent of the new COVID cases are people that are in their 20s to 50s. So this is uh, no longer an older person uh, issue, although many of many of the older folks have been vaccinated in long term care facilities or retirement homes and now recently in the general populace. So uh, the the variant uh, very much more uh, contagious and very much more harmful is now having a very dramatic effect in lower mm -hmm. age. And that's uh, that's certainly a continuing problem.
cause for concern there. Well, Mayor Hamil uh, Hamilton, Mayor Fred Eisenberger, great to talk to you again, and uh, nice to see that you got vaccinated. Thank you, Annette. Much appreciated.